you need to know that heaven is right next door. Many of you want to experience heaven right now as you watch in this video. This is something you dreamed of. This is something you always thought of since you was a child, but you haven't truly experienced this. What's blocking many believers from experiencing heaven while they're alive here on this earth because they think heaven is so far away. Let me tell you something. Heaven is closer than what you think. Many of you sitting there right now thinking that you're going to experience heaven once you die or once, quote unquote, the rapture happens. Now, we know based on my last video, as I discussed how the rapture, that experience is not going to heaven. But people of God, you as a believer of Jesus Christ, heaven is your home. I want you to say with me, heaven is my home. The Bible says in Ephesians 2, 6, you are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. When you see that word seated in the Hebrew, that means dwelling. Heaven is our dwelling place. Heaven is your dwelling place. You have your own seat in heaven. When this reality sinks into your spirit and your consciousness, it removes all the blockages from you experience the realm of heaven. You'd be shocked people in heaven who is waiting for you to come there. So that experience and the knowledge you gain there, you can speak on these things, the things that the Lord allows you to say. To use that for good, to edify people here on earth, according to the will of God. Because there's certain experience in heaven where you'll see things or hear things, but the Lord won't permit you to say those things. He will just want you to keep it in your heart. But there's downloads and information and scrolls you can experience in heaven or the things you see that can impact your lives and the lives of others. Here are five steps you can practice so that you can have your experience in heaven with the Lord. Step one, remove fear out of your heart. Step two, remove doubt out of your mind. This experience is for you as a believer. Step three, keep your heart pure. Don't let unforgiveness, don't let the stress of life, don't let bitterness and anger sink into your heart because these things can hinder you from experiencing the realm of heaven. Let your heart be filled with love. Love is so important when it comes to you experience the realm of heaven with the Lord Jesus. Step four, take time to meditate or envision yourself being in heaven. Step five, even before you go to sleep, meditate on how you want to experience heaven and say within your heart, when you're in a place of being quiet and stillness with the Lord, that you say in your heart, heaven is my home. This is what I want to experience. Watch and see the experience you will have in heaven through visions, through encounters, and through your dreams. There are many realms in heaven. Don't doubt what you see or what you experience. Trust in what your spirit is communicating to you. You can experience this while you are alive, being in heaven. Heaven is your home. If you agree to what I'm saying, hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Shalom and God bless you.